Thank you so much for being here tonight. Welcome to the class of 2023 awards ceremony. We're, we're honored to have all of our, our guests here, the parents, the presenters, the guests of honor, which tonight are, are the amazing students that make up the class of 2023. And uh, you'll, you'll be hearing a little bit more about this class as we, we go throughout the night tonight. Uh, I wanted to begin with what's on the back of your program, and sometimes people don't turn to the back of the program, uh, but tonight is not possible without the work of, of a number of people and organizations, and I want to begin just by, by recognizing them. Um, the first is the PHS Scholarship Fund. Uh, if, if we could, most of them are seated backstage right now. Let them know how much we appreciate them. We'll give them a big round of applause to start off the night tonight. A second group that is really instrumental into the success of tonight is the PHS Scholarship Auction Committee. Uh, we were able to, to have that event a couple of weeks ago out at the barn. It was a phenomenal event, raised a bunch of money for next year's class, uh, the class of 2024. But the, the fruits of the labor from last year's event is going to go towards this year's class. So please give the PHS Auction Scholarship Committee a big round of applause as well. And then a, a couple of organizations that are a huge part of tonight, the Community Foundation of Southwest Wisconsin and their staff and support staff, as well as the staff and support staff at Inspiring Community. Uh, we're so grateful for their partnerships uh, as we present these different awards and scholarships tonight. So another big thank you to them. And, and last but certainly not least, the Platteville High School staff and the Platteville High School student volunteers uh, making this night possible. We're, we're so appreciative of the, the time and energy and efforts that go into it. I'll be thanking a few other people individually as we move throughout the night, but so appreciative of everybody that, that makes tonight such a huge success. So one more time, we're going to get used to clapping tonight, so I'm warming you up. So we're going to begin tonight with uh, a, a very special recognition, and I'd like to introduce Wolfgang Reichenberger and Jane Nundorf, uh, representing Mary Lou Broski. They're here to present William J. Broski Scholarship. Uh, this is a scholarship that uh, was started a number of years ago. Uh, this year it's going to go to 10 recipients, so the, the process is going to be a little bit different for this first scholarship than it will be the rest of the night tonight. Students that are receiving this recognition, I ask you to come to the stage, receive your certificate, and then stay on the stage until all 10 uh, students are called up. Then please exit stage left uh, after you receive your award and get a picture. Very important that we get the pictures tonight. We, we want to make sure that, um, that the donors and, and the families, that everybody's able to, to celebrate and remember uh, the awards and recognitions tonight. So. With that, I'll introduce Wolfgang and Jane to present on behalf of Mary Lou Broski, the William J. Broski Scholarship. Good evening. We're delighted to be here tonight and to present the William J. Broski Awards. Bill believed in education which is why we're presenting 10 $5,000 awards tonight. Bill would be so proud and happy if he knew this. Um, Mary Lou, his wife, can't attend tonight um, due to health issues, um, but she sends congratulations. So let's get started. Uh, the first person is Aiden Amen. Elian Davis. Joyce Huang. Uh, 
Maria Nates. Noah Schulenberg. <laughs> Sophia Stone. <laughs> Haley Wagel. Abigail Williams. <laughs> Quinn Wright. <laughs> Mara Weber. <laughs> I'm delighted to see so many girls up here. That's great. <laughs> Should we go on this? wasn't all. There's more. <laughs> Good evening, class of 2023. My name is Sheila Kelly, and I serve as co-chair of the Platteville High School Scholarship Fund Board. I'm not a Platteville native or a Platteville High School graduate. Um, I have, however, been here for the last 30 years. Um, my business is here, and my children all graduated from Platteville High School. Um, my, my grandchildren Two of them are in the district, and one is a baby, but he's advanced. Um, and I don't need to recount the unique experiences you've had over your high school career. It's been something incredible with the conditions of the world that you've had to experience as young people. I believe you've learned something valuable life lessons during your time here at PHS, including Lessons about dealing with the unknown and change that's unimaginable. You are stepping from this stage, this literal stage, to a new stage in your life. Congratulations. Tonight, it's my honor to help represent hundreds, and I'm not kidding you, hundreds of people who are supporting you on that next stage tonight. You'll be receiving scholarships, monetary gifts, um, from those hundreds of people that you likely do not know. You can't know some of them because they've been dead since before I was born. And they're still giving you money, which you'll hear about later tonight. As you receive these gifts, I'd like you to remember that many people, those hundreds of people, made a choice to invest in you, in you students. People that they didn't know either, and they couldn't even imagine that you would exist many, many years from when they first made their investment. They didn't buy stuff with that money. They could have. They could have bought boats, campers, ATVs. They could have gone on vacation. They didn't go to concerts. They didn't eat at fancy restaurants or drive exotic cars. Some of them gave up getting a tattoo, all to give you money. They gave you their money because they wanted to invest in you. So please remember that and be thankful. You'll receive information in your envelopes and through the school about how to write a note and express your gratitude. Now, because you're here, I assume you can all write a note. So I will expect to see a note. And when you've had the opportunity, when you are set in your career, when you're on that next stage, remember this night and pay it forward. Help to make this scholarship 
night continue forever. Now, I get to give out the first ones too. That's part of the fun stuff. Um, for the first one, we are giving out the award for the PHS Endowment Fund. And our first honoree, will Nicholas Burkhard, please join me on the stage. The PHS Endowment Fund was established in 2010 with an initial donation of $10,000. With initial or with additional donations and earnings, this fund has now grown to $76,000. This award is for graduates involved in extracurricular activities and who have demonstrated leadership. It's my pleasure to award this year's scholarship to Nicholas Burkhart. Are you supposed to stand in And you can go ahead and exit because you're the only one on that one. Okay. <laughs> Will Bresnia Coyer please join me on stage? <laughs> Bresnia is the recipient of the PHS Educators Endowment Fund. Uh, at his retirement in 2015, uh, the superintendent then, Dean Isaacson, suggested that people might want to honor his legacy with the Platteville School District by contributing to a scholarship endowment. They did, and that endowment now provides an annual scholarship to the son or daughter of an educator who is teaching at an accredited educational facility in Platteville. On behalf of the Platteville educators, it's my pr pleasure to present this award to Bresnia. Congratulations. Okay. All right, so I can't have favorite scholarships, right? Like you can't have favorite kids, but I do love this one. Would Abigail Gatch please join me on stage? <laughs> Abigail is the recipient of the Myron and Sheila Trannell Family Scholarship. In 2012, Myron and Sheila Trannell committed a truckload of corn, a truckload of corn annually, to endow a $30,000 scholarship fund. Their intent was to forever support annual scholarships in the Platteville High School uh, to the graduates. Myron was on the school board for nine years and worked with UWP for many years. Uh, his wife, Sheila, was a nurse at Mercy in Dubuque. They have a farm just south of Platteville. And Myron recently sold his interest in uh, the Century 21 Southwestern Realty in Platteville. Uh, this is a reflection of their continuing commitment to education and the Platteville community. It's my pleasure to present this award to Abigail. Thank you. Good evening. Will Marl Weber please come up? My name is Gene Weber and this is my wife Jan. In appreciation for the wonderful education of our three sons by our Platteville teachers, we are pleased to award Mara a $1,500 scholarship from our endowment program. Um, also, our son Jamie and his wife Amy made a five year, 5,000 a year pledge for scholarships. Jamie is a director of software development and partner at Power World Corporation. He asks that we share uh, on his behalf that it is an appropriate time to pay back gifts I received as a student with some interest to the students of Platteville High School who are in the same position I was over 30 years ago. 
Jamie and Amy have three children in the Champaign-Urbana uh, School District and are actively support their district, church, and community. Could the following please come to the stage together? Catherine Brown. Du Dushan uh, Viesterchill. Ashton Thomas and Rail Dye. And Mara, after we take this picture, could you come back up? We had to get a picture with you. Good evening, all. I am Pat Schaefer, and I'm asking Lauren Warren Mott to please step forward. <laughs> Lauren is looking forward to a career in exercise science. This field has many possibilities in helping us all maintain our health. I am pleased to present from the Schaefer Family Farm the award to Lauren. Good evening, my name is Jim Schneller. Would uh, Bresnia K. Coyer please come up to the stage? <clears throat> uh, my father was uh, an educator, and uh, when he passed, we established a memorial fund, James T. Schneller Sr. Uh, scholarship memorial fund. And uh, this is our way of remembering him. He was an educator in many many areas around here, um, Cassville, Bloomington, Cuba City, Potosi, and uh, um, we wanted his, uh, just to remember him as we go past. So uh, this, uh, this award is for Ms. Bresnia Kay. Hi, I'm Mike Rui. I'm here to give a scholarship in my dad's name, Milton R. Rui, to somebody who wants to become a teacher. Uh, Mackenzie Champion, come on down. <laughs> my dad grew up on a farm outside of Platteville, and as a youth, his career goal was never to milk a cow again in his life. So he became a teacher and he enjoyed it, and he wanted, we want to pass it joy on to the next generation of teachers. Good evening. I'm Brenda Delecky. And I'm Brooke Brockman. Would Gwyneth Erickson join us, please? This scholarship is brought to you by our parents, Bob and Louise Brockman. 
Dad grew up in Platteville and graduated from Platteville High School. Mom was from Lancaster. But they met at the university where both were education majors. Dad taught elementary school for a while and mom was the high school English teacher. But while they both ended up dedicating most of their working lives to life insurance sales, they never lost their love of or respect for our public schools. They were always looking to learn new skills themselves and demonstrated to us what lifelong learning looked like. They chose to show that enduring support for education with this scholarship. And we are proud to be presenting the Bob and Louise Rockman Family Scholarship to Gwyneth Erickson. Good evening. Would the following students please join me on stage to receive the Rosemary Anderson Memorial Scholarship, Dylan Pink, Wesley Camps, and Fernando Ramos. I'm pleased to present the awards to Dylan. Will Mackenzie Champion please join me on stage? I am pleased to present this year's award to Mackenzie. Congratulations. Would Brooke Cools please join me on stage? <laughs> it's my pleasure this evening to present the Nancy Ware Endowed Scholarship. A Platteville native, Ware worked at Land's End for more than 30 years. Because education was so important to her, she earned her degree as a non-traditional student from UW Platteville in 1993, majoring in business administration. Nancy was an extremely giving person and would deprive herself in order to help somebody else. Nancy was the epitome of what it means to be a pioneer, hardworking, humble, and generous. She loved helping others, and with her gift, she will continue to help future pioneers meet their educational goals. On behalf of Nancy Ware, it is my pleasure to present this award to Brooke. Congratulations. <laughs> Would Aiden Amin please join me on stage? <laughs> the Edward and Dorothy Helferty Memorial Scholarship was established in 2019 by their granddaughter, Jean. Family circumstances led to Jean being raised by her grandparents, who farmed on the north side of Platteville for 50 plus years. After graduating from Platteville High School, Jean went on to earn her law degree from UW-Madison. On behalf of the Halfordy family, it is my pleasure to present this award to Aiden, who will also be attending UW-Madison. Will Michelle Eaches please join me on stage?
The Helen Stoneman Broadbeck Scholarship was created by Robert and Barry Broadbeck in honor of their mother, who instilled many deep-seated principles in people. Her integrity, high moral standards, and wonderful sense of humor, caring and sharing qualities, along with a never-ending teaching of the English language, is only part of why this scholarship has been established. Helen Stoneman Broadbeck attended the training school, Platteville High School, and the State Teachers College, receiving a BS degree at the age of 19. She taught English for three years prior to her marriage to Richard Broadbeck in 1942. Helen and her late husband founded Dick Supermarkets with their first store opening in 1950. The income from the Helen Stoneman Broadbeck Scholarship Endowment is a legacy that will continue to assist many PHS students and help to make a difference in students' lives today and moving forward into the future. It is my pleasure to present this year's award to Michelle. Congratulations. Good evening, I'm Sherry Engelke and I'm a member of the Inspiring Community Board. Will Noah Felder please come join me on stage? St. Mary's School in Platva opened in October of 1935. Through the years, St. Mary provided outstanding instruction for curricula similar to that in public schools, as well as daily study in Catholic religion. St. Mary's School celebrated a 75-year history of providing outstanding parochial school education for youth in our area prior to its closing at the end of 2011-2012 school year. The enrollment during its final years of operation was approximately 85 students. Over the years, hundreds of students attended St. Mary's School, including several of this year's seniors. It is most appropriate that we honor and remember this very important educational institution and its many teachers, administrators, and students with this endowment. It is my pleasure to present this year's award to NOAA. Congratulations. Will Allison Bird please join me on stage? <laughs> Carmen and Eva Bining were longtime residents of Platteville. Carmen was born in Platteville in 1910 and graduated from both the Platteville High School and the Platteville Teachers College. He was a distinguished career as a business manager at the university. He was very active in the community and most notably serving as vice president of the Platteville Schools Credit Union and treasurer of the Platteville Library Foundation. After his retirement in 1979, he pursued his love of art as an oil painter and his interest in birds banding nearly 5,000 birds. He lived to the age of 93 despite, despite battling Parkinson's disease. Eva Kettler was born in Elk Grove Township, moving to Platteville when she was six years old. Like Carmen, Eva graduated from both PHS and the Teachers College. Eva worked in the business office at the university, retiring in 1977. Eva was an artist, award winning many awards for her creations. A lover of history, she was active with the State Historical Society and the museums in Platteville. She was also devoted to her church, teaching Sunday school for 30 plus years. Carmen and Eva were married in 1966 and celebrated 37 anniversaries together. It's my pleasure to present this year's award to Allison. Congratulations. Would Daniel Wells please join me on stage? I'm, I'm presenting the George and Albert Kettler Endowed Scholarship. 
George and Albert Kettler were Eva Bining's brothers. Born in Elk Grove Township in 1912, George was 11 years old when his family relocated to Platteville. George graduated from PHS, attending the mining, mining school, and earned his undergraduate degree in mining engineer from UWP. He worked locally for the American Zinc Company, Pickett Mining and Milling, and the Vinegar Hills Mining Company. George and his brother Albert operated Kettler Nursery with their father Fred. They sold trees and fruit, most of the magnolia trees and pine trees around Platteville were the result of George and Albert's work. Albert was born in Wilbur, Nebraska in 1908. He too worked for the American Zinc Company. George outlived three wives and died at the age of 91. Albert lived 89 years. It's my pleasure to present this year's award to Daniel. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Joe Light. I'm a member of the PHS Scholarship Board. Would Mara Weber please join me on stage? I am honored to present the Clayton Brothers Scholarship. Orlo Clayton was a well-known here at Platteville High School as he was a custodian for 25 years, retiring in 2004. His brother Cy worked for the City of Platteville Street Department for 20 years. In addition to this endowment, the Claytons also left endowments to the benefit the Platteville City Parks. On behalf of the Clayton Brothers, it is my pleasure to present this award to Mara. Congratulations. <laughs> Would Kate Zilke please join me on stage? Created in 2016 at the passing of Esther, the Everett Nestor McReynolds Memorial Scholarship honors the longtime agricultural involvement of these town of Lima residents. After Everett's passing, Esther moved to town. She gave freely of her time and talent to her church, to the Grant County Homemakers and the Senior Center. An avid Packer and Badger fan, she particularly enjoyed following her family members in their high school and college sports careers. It is my pleasure to present this year's award to Tate. Congratulations. Good evening. I'm Ryan Waggle and a member of the PHS Scholarship Fund Board. Would Emma Rooney please join me on stage? Dr. Ralph and Madge Day were well-known and highly regarded residents of the Platteville community for more than 55 years. Both Dr. Ralph and Madge were born and raised in southwest Wisconsin. Dr. Day established his veterinary practice in Platteville in 1957, and the Days were very active in the Platteville community, participating in many service clubs and attending events at UW Platteville. Additionally, Dr. Day served on the board of directors of First National Bank in Platteville. UW Platteville is an important part of the family's past, present, and future. Each of the day's seven children attended UW Platteville, in addition to multiple grandchildren and many extended family members. The day siblings also grew up as active participants in this community, often working with their parents as they supported the community. As Platteville High School graduates, the siblings created this endowment for a graduating PHS student attending UW Platteville to honor their parents' legacy. On behalf of the Day family, I am pleased to present this award to Emma. Congratulations. Will the following students please join me on stage? Cameron Nice, Haley Waggle, Miles Zhang, and Brooke Von Glan. This is for the Fern E. Clare Memorial Scholarship. Fern was the daughter of Frank and Lena Bolt. She attended the Blockhouse, Blockhouse School and graduated from Platteville High School in 1936. She was married in 1940 to Virgil Clare, who preceded her in death. She was active in the St. Mary's Catholic Church community 
and the Southwest Health Center Auxiliary and with the Humane Society of the U.S. Ms. Clare left a bequest that will provide scholarships in perpetuity for Platteville High School graduates, for Platteville High School graduates, excuse me. Ms. Clare passed away in 2014. On behalf of Ms. Clare, it is my pleasure to present these scholarships to Cameron, Haley, Miles, and Brooke. Congratulations. Good evening, my name is Cindy Tang and I'm presenting the Cindy Tang Endowed Scholarship. Would Joyce Huang please join me on the stage? As an early proponent, proponent of the creation of the PHS Scholarship Fund, I was among the first contributors who provided funding in the initial scholarship year in 2010 when the PHS Scholarship Fund presented five $1,000 scholarships each. Tonight, we are presenting more than 196,000 to 90 students. In 2011, I established an endowment which will provide scholarships forever to a PHS graduate. With the award tonight, my endowment has awarded over $42,000 to PHS graduates. I believe in education, the education I received changed my life and funding this endowment is part of what I do to give back. Congratulations, George. <laughs> Next, I have the honor to present the Jane Howell Endowment. Will Megan Hall please join me on the stage? In 2020, the PHS Scholarship Advisory Board received word of an estate gift from longtime educator Jane Howell. Jane's association with the Platteville Schools began in 1965 and continued for some 30 years. Jane was one of those rare educators who combined the two ingredients needed to make to be a great teacher. She was a phenomenal mathematician who also had a powerful understanding as to how middle schoolers learn mathematics. Jane was able to assess where students were in their understanding and then provide the instruction and practice necessary for them to advance in their skills and gain confidence in the use of math. This endowment established with Ms. Ms. Howell's gift will provide scholarships forever to students who are pursuing a degree in math, teaching, or related math field. On behalf of Jane Howell, it is my honor to present the Jane Howell Scholarship to Megan. Congratulations. <laughs> the next scholarship is for It Takes a Village Endowment. Will McKenna McNeil please join me on stage? In February of 2015, a committee of volunteers organized the inaugural It Takes a Village dinner and auction. This event features a dinner, live auction, and silent auction, and other fundraising festivities. In 2023, It Takes a Village dinner and auction was held just two weeks ago and was a huge success, raising over 44,000 for future scholarships. Since its beginning, the, proceed, the proceeds from this fun event have been distributed to current year seniors and have been added to an existing Platteville Educators Endowment and the tribute to St. Mary's School Endowments, as well as It Takes a Village Endowment, which is a legacy gift that will continue to provide scholarships forever. To date, the annual dinner and auction has raised over 300,000 for our graduates. Tonight, it's my, my pleasure to present this year's scholarship to McKenna. Well, the 
Ms. Lucy. Good evening. I am Barb Dawes, and I am honored tonight to present scholarships from Platteville's Historic Trusts. The Platteville Community Fund and the PHS Scholarship Fund, both components of the Community Foundation of Southern Wisconsin, an inspiring community, are honored to present scholarship monies from trust funds established originally at First National Bank of Platteville by now deceased Platteville residents. I will give brief information about the individuals who left perpetual or legacy gifts that generate monies on an annual basis for community needs, including scholarships. I believe these folks subscribe to the motto, for good forever. That is what they have done through the monies they have left in trust. They continue to have influence in our community long past their time among us. These individuals continue to do good and is, it is fitting that we know just a bit about them. So first I'll do the Emily Farnham Scholarship. Will Matt Stangle McDermott please join me on stage? <laughs> Dr. Emily Farnham was a well-known member of the Eng English faculty at UW-Platteville. She lived for 92 years and passed away in 2003. She left monies that fund a scholarship for a PHS student and also fund monies for a UW-Platteville student. I'm pleased to present Matt with the Dr. Emily Farnham Scholarship. Will Cam Cameron Lindahl please join me on stage? <laughs> this scholarship is the LG M. Ward Scholarship, and I have to say it's my favorite. LG May Ward was born in 1874 and graduated from the local college here in Platteville, then the Platteville State Teachers College, in 1897. She taught at the Brick School, which later burned and was replaced by the O.E. Gray School. She died in 1956, and we have presented scholarships every year since then. It's a long time. So I'm pleased to present Cameron with the L.G. M. Ward Scholarship. Next, I'll present the Ziggert Scholarships. Will Elizabeth Poehler and Brooke Van Glan please join me on stage? <laughs> Elizabeth and Brooke will both receive scholarships that were established by Harry Ziggert. Harry was a science teacher here in Platteville. He also served on the city council here in Platteville. And so, um, Elizabeth and Brooke, congratulations. Now will David Lee and Madison Carl please join me. These two students are receiving the Agnes, and her nickname was Tip uh, Scholarship. She was also a teacher here, but she taught in English and communications. She was well known throughout the community for her outspokenness on lots and lots of issues. And I should say that both the, both the Harry Ziggert and the Agnes Tip Ziggert scholarship, are, uh, their scholarships reflect their teaching specialties. So congratulations, David and Madison. The next scholarships will be the Margaret. The next scholarships will be the Margaret Kaiser scholarships. Would Maria Nates and Clara Killian please join me? <laughs> Margaret Kaiser earned her degree in teaching here at the Platteville State Teachers College. She lived with her sister Ruth in a house on North Second Street. Miss Kaiser was a middle school English teacher. She passed away in the mid-1990s. I'm pleased to present both Maria and Clara with 
the Margaret Kaiser Scholarship. Would Reese Richards, Abigail Williams, and Lexi Shea please join me on stage? These scholarships are in honor of Eleanor Loveland. Eleanor Loveland earned a three-year teaching certificate in 1928. After a teaching career in Reedsburg and Wauwatosa, she returned to her family home in Platteville and became a great friend to international students attending UW Platteville. She passed away in 1996. I am pleased to present scholarships to Reese, Abigail, and Lexi in honor of, em of Eleanor Loveland. Would Noah Schulenberg and Gwyneth Erickson please join me on stage? <laughs> These scholarships are given in honor of Clarence Gribble. Mr. Gribble was a Platteville business person owning and operating the Platteville Journal until 1933 when he sold it to the Brockmans. His sister, Greta, was dean of students at the Platteville Teachers College. Mr. Grib Gribble passed away in 1948. Again, scholarships given for a very long time uh, through the generosity of Mr. Gribble. So Noah and Gwyneth, congratulations. Okay, would Jenna, Maya, Alyssa and Quinn, please join me. Jenna Shea, Maya Cruel, Alyssa Backies, and, and Quinn Wright. <laughs> These four students will re re uh, receive the Robert and Marjorie Hartshorn scholarships. Mr. Hartshorn was a graduate of Milton College. He served in the U.S. Navy in World War II, then went on to Harvard. Uh, he taught at the mining school here in Platteville and was head of its mechanics department. He died in 2004. Mar Marjorie White Hartshorn grew up in Platteville. Her father, Jesse White, was an educator teaching physics at the normal school. Marjorie and Robert were great philanthropists providing money for many causes in addition to education. I'm pleased to present Jenna, Maya, Alyssa, and Quinn with Robert and Marjorie Hartshorn scholarships. This next group of PHS scholarships are made possible through gifts from individuals, families, businesses, memorial, and fundraising events. These scholarships are administered by Inspiring Community, Inc. Inspiring Community, Inc. scholarship um, is the next one I'm going to present. Would Dylan Pink please join me on the stage? Inspiring Community is a nonprofit that works with community members and organizations to help them make an impact on Platteville. The scholarship is awarded to a student who demonstrates giving back to the community and plans to attend UW Platteville or Southwest Tech. Congratulations, Dylan. The next scholarship I'm going to, scholarships I'm going to present is for the Platteville Community Fund. Would Noah um, Felder, Paige Kirkenbush, and Kaysen Udelhoven join me on the stage? <laughs> the 
The Platteville Community Fund is a fund that raises money in order to award grants to local nonprofits working, working to strengthen the people, places, and projects in Platteville. The fund supports many community projects, including education and grants, fund, and grants funds annually to the PHS Scholarship Fund. I'm pleased to award each of you with the Platteville Community Fund Scholarship. Congratulations. Cameron Nice, please come on stage. My name is Mike Dietzel, one of the two dentists at Platteville Dental. Uh, and it is our honor this year to offer uh, Cameron $1,000. And uh, good luck at Whitewater. Good evening, I'm Lori Barr, I'm the trust officer at Mound City Bank. Could I have Madison Carl, Gabriella Cajo, and Eliana Davis join me on stage, please? Each of these students will be receiving a $1,000 scholarship each. No rush. <laughs> there you go, my dear. And Eliana, let's scoot just a little bit in front of you. Congratulations. Could I have Megan Hall please join me on stage? This scholarship comes from the Eversall family, and this scholarship is a $500 scholarship available to high school students attending Platteville, Belmont, Cuba City, Lancaster, and Iowa Grant School Districts who intend to advance their post-high school education in an electrical-related field. The award will be available to the recipient upon providing proof of successful completing their first semester studies in a postgraduate institution with a grade point average of at least 2.0 on a 4.0 scale. Congratulations, Megan Hall. And I have one more. Could Gwyneth Erickson join me on stage? This scholarship comes from the Ann and Leo Stoll Jr. Uh, trust that I have at Mount City Bank. This is a $1,500 scholarship available to high school students attending Platteville, Cuba City, Dickeyville, and Potosi school districts who intend to advance their post high school education in either business management or broadcast journalism. The award will be available to the recipient upon providing proof of successfully completing their first semester studies in a postgraduate institution with a grade point average of at least 3.0 on a 4.0 scale. Congratulations, Gwyneth. Good evening, my name is Dina Grutz, and this is my husband, Bill Grutz. Would Alana Barth join us on the stage, please? We are here to present the Bill and Dina Grutz Scholarship to Alana.
Would Eric Gumbent, Gumbent please join us on stage? We are the Simmons family, and we all graduated from Platteville High School. And we are here to present the Bonnie and Elsie Simmons Memorial Scholarship. It's a thousand dollar value. My siblings, my five siblings and I truly hope that this scholarship will assist you with your ed future education at the University of Minnesota. Mom, who just passed away six years ago this last weekend, we know that mom and dad would be very, very happy for you. Uh, we are pleased to present this award to Eric, and congratulations, Eric. Could Lindsey Brown please come to the stage? Hi, I'm Sherry Stewart, and on behalf of Tricor Insurance, we are very pleased to present you with this scholarship, Lindsey. Hi, can Eric Graybont meet me on stage? He, he left. All right, whoever's next. No. This is, this is a little awkward, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he went to the bathroom. He's coming. Hey! On behalf of LM Corrugated, and I'm proud to uh, give Eric this scholarship. So. With Sadie Wagle and Porter Mandarano, please join me on stage. Uh, my name is Dennis Cooley, and I'm on, on behalf of my wife Stephanie. We're here tonight to give out the Cooley Family Scholarship. Uh, we had three children, and we still do, um, three kids Taylor, Logan, and Will. And all three uh, had a great experience here at, at Platteville High School. And we're so grateful for their opportunities they had when they were here. Uh, we have four grandchildren. Uh, the most recent one was born to Logan and, and Allie last week. They live here in Platteville, and our dream is that that little girl will come to school here someday. So at Southwest Tech, for uh, Sadie and for Porter, just to know that Southwest Tech is in the top ten in the nation, according to the Aspen Institute, which gives out the award for the most prestigious award in the country for two-year colleges. So uh, we understand that Porter's going to be coming to uh, Platteville, or excuse me, for Southwest Tech for, um, for welding, and Sadie's going to be coming for the Ag program. So congratulations. Thank you. Jesse Vesperman.
Good evening, everybody. I'll try to make this as quick as possible. Could I have Haley Waggle join me on stage, please? <laughs> Haley Waggle is the first recipient of the PHS Scholarship Fund made possible by the Platteville Sports Boosters. Thank you, Haley. Thanks, Haley. Next, if I could get Grant Herbst to join me on stage. You tried to take Grant? You can't do that. Grant is this year's recipient of the Platteville ATV UTV Enthusiast Scholarship. Thanks, Grant. Congratulations. All right, now the list gets long. Now we're moving on to the scholarship auction recipients. And there's a little bit of housekeeping I gotta do first. So it took a whole community to raise this money for us, okay? So what I want everybody to do right now is stand up quick, shake your neighbor's hand, introduce yourself, because that's what a community is, okay? So let's take a minute, stand up, introduce yourselves to your neighbor, one that you don't know. All right, thank you everybody for doing that. And hopefully you know somebody new in the community now that helped make all this happen tonight. So what we're doing right now is we're distributing approximately $34,000 to 26 different individuals. And this was all made uh, possible by the auction that we had out at the barn here about a week or two ago. But actually it was done last year for this year's class. And this year's will be for next year's class. At the end of this, I'm gonna have everybody stay lined up up here so we can get one group photo. But then at the end, I need Lisa Rowe, I need Carrie Sue Stang, who's already up here, and I need Josh and Julie Gabrant. And if anybody else is up here from the, is in the audience from the scholarship committee, please join us also. Number one, I need Aiden Amin, please. Then if I could have Andrew Berry, please. Kylie Bell, please. Robert Nicholas Bowers. Carter Bradley. <laughs> Garrett Brem. <laughs> Amy Cook. Michelle Eaches. <laughs> Ellie Ferry. <laughs> Alyssa Feist Gerke.
Jaden Fiedler. Wyatt Hare. Grant Herbst. Anissa Holmes. Brooke Cools. Ali Lindell. Rebecca Lindell. Porter Mondrano. Smile, Porter, and we are it. Bianca Paler. Abby Pennywell. Shayna Prestigard. Lexi Rowe. Grace Stamba. Ellie Temperley. Morgan Templeton. Our final recipient tonight is Cody Vargo, and my understanding is he's not in the audience tonight. But if those other people I mentioned before could come on up and get a photo with these kids, we would appreciate it. Thank you very much, everyone. That's a hard act to follow. I graduated from Platteville High School in 1973 with one of the biggest classes to ever go through Platteville High School, over 200 students. 
Um, this is our 50th year. I know I don't look that old, but uh, we decided the members of my class to give back and give a couple of scholarships. Um, so would the first, would Allie Lindell come back, come up please? We're giving a thousand dollars to a student going to a four-year university. <laughs> and would Laura Zanaki Tabor come up? And we're giving another thousand dollars to a student going to Southwest Tech. Um, I'm a retired banker and I retired from Wisconsin Bank and Trust uh, last June and I'm pleased to award their scholarship form another thousand dollar scholarship to Emma Rooney if she would come forward please. The last scholarship that I'm going to award tonight is from the Bob and or Pat and Barb Claire scholarship. It's a $2,000 scholarship and it's being awarded to Elena Davis. If she could come forward, please. would be Anka Paler, please come forward. This scholarship is the Happ and Barb Doss Scholarship. Uh, my husband and I have been giving this $1,000 scholarship for the past 10 years in honor of our son, Jeremy, who graduated from Platteville High School. Uh, I think his picture's out here on the wall someplace. And also uh, in honor of my employment here as a teacher many years ago in biology. So uh, congratulations, Bianca. I'm also honored tonight to present the Gerald Richards Memorial Scholarship. Will Skylar Stone please come forward? This scholarship is given in memory of Dr. Gerald Boots Richards. Dr. Richards grew up in Platteville. He was one of seven children of John and Olive Richards. Boots, as he was affectionately called, earned an undergraduate degree at UW Platteville, then pursued additional education at the University of Iowa. At the time of his passing in 1994, Dr. Richards taught chemistry at UW La Crosse. This scholarship is made possible by gifts in his memory made by his brothers and sisters. Congratulations, Skylar. <laughs> Would Case and Udelhoven please join me on stage? <laughs> this scholarship is the Strand Associate Scholarship. Scholarship. Strand Associates is an engineering consulting firm located in Madison that was founded by Ted Richards, who happens to be a brother to Dr. Gerald Richards, who we just talked about. Strand Associates has many, many connections to Platteville. 
They've employed many engineering graduates from UW-Platteville and have been avid supporters of the PHS Scholarship Fund since 2014. So congratulations, Kaysen. Would Peyton Malliott please come to the stage? My name is Eileen Nichols, and my husband Tom and I are presenting a scholarship this evening. Both of our children attended PHS and got a great education, and we wanted to pay it forward. And we're very happy this evening to give this scholarship to Peyton. Thank you. Would Rebecca Lindell and Hope Hooks join me on the stage, please? The Reeves Boys Family Education Scholarship was established by the Reeves family to be awarded to students who plan to pursue a degree in education or teaching. Ben Reeves shared with us that throughout his challenging childhood, his teachers were always there to encourage him and he has been ever for grateful to them. He eventually went on to marry Elizabeth Boys, a third generation teacher who recently retired after 30 years from the Dubuque School District. Her mom, Judith Boys, wife of the late Milton Boys of Dubuque, Iowa, taught for 33 years. As alumni of the Platteville High School, Ben's daughters, Allison and Elena, are forever touched by the education and guidance that we received from their teachers, K through 12. On behalf of the Reeves and Boys families, I am happy to present this year's award to Rebecca and Hope. Congratulations. <laughs> Would Jesse Vesperman please join me on stage? The Friends and Family Memorial Scholarship is what I will be presenting next. The PHS Friends and Family Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of friends and family who are no longer with us, but still in our hearts. This year, the scholarship is from combined memorials received in honor of Leland Red Donahue, Stella Heffel, John Hirsch, Fern Nall, Ron Rui, and the parents of Dr. Richard and Gloria Schumacher. Congratulations, Jesse. Good evening, it's me again. Could I please have Jenna Shea join me on stage? <laughs> I'm pleased to present Jenna Shea with my scholarship. Uh, the Kelly Family Scholarship is uh, $1,000 awarded to uh, secondary education for um, somebody that I had no idea I chose. I should mention that. We have absolutely blind selection so it's just the luck of the draw that I got Jenna Shea. My daughter's named Jenna.
just a little free legal advice uh, that doesn't cost her $250 per hour. Um, could I have Sophia Stone join me on stage, please? I'm not allowed to have favorite scholarships. This might be my third favorite. It is the Cot McKeegan Law Office Scholarship. Um, I am the senior partner at Cot McKeegan Law Office, and I'm happy to present this to Sophia. Oh. Guys, no. <laughs> and yeah, you've had decent shoes on, too. Yeah, um, yeah, I know. And it's not creepy at all, but I think that my seven-year-old grandson has a huge crush on you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's creepy either. Say hi to your grandson. I will too. And then could I have Laura Zuniga please join me on stage? Laura, is she here? Okay. I'll just see, clap, guys. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Not for me, for her, you know. So Laura is the recipient tonight of the Steve's Pizza Palace Scholarship. This was made uh, possible in part with uh, Steve's sponsoring community nights and the PHS scholarship fund was able to snag one of the community night months where we had guest bartenders uh, and this is not from this year, but uh, this year we raised uh, from those scholarships, from those uh, bartender nights over $1,100. So uh, if you like pizza and you like to have guest bartenders serve you beverages. Come and do that, and it'll turn into a scholarship for somebody. Would Emma Nee Collins join me on stage? Uh, this scholarship was made possible by something near and dear to my heart. This is from the Lighthouse, and this was going to any student that was going to uh, go to Southwest Tech. Congratulations, Emma. Would Gabriella Cajo come to the stage? Sorry. <laughs> this scholarship was made possible by the Bob and Joni Just Scholarship. Congratulations. Thank you. Sorry if I didn't. Would Jenna Brogley please come up to the stage? <laughs> this scholarship was made possible by High Pro Inc. Congratulations, Jenna. Would Megan Hall please join me on stage? <laughs> on behalf of Jordan Holthaus, I am here to present Megan with the Jordan Holthaus State Farm Insurance Scholarship in the amount of fifteen or a thousand dollars. Uh, would Kendra Statsny please join me on stage? <laughs> Would 
Kendra, I'm happy to present you a $500 scholarship from Los Amigos Restaurante. Congratulations. Would Noah Dice join me on stage? I'm presenting the scholarship for Belkin, which is a software engineering firm located in the industrial park. Um, they do commercial avionics and a variety of software. They've been there about 35 years and um, employ lots of smart people. So next I'm going to award the Platteville Community Donors Scholarship and we're going to have um, probably 15 to 17 people come on stage and you're going to all stay on stage and we'll do a picture at the end. Um, on behalf of all other donors to the PHS Scholarship Fund, I'd like to present the Platteville Community Donors Scholarship to the following students. Please join me on stage as I call your name, Noah Dice. Derek Digman, <laughs> Rail Dye, <laughs> Abigail Gatch, <laughs> Hope Hooks, <laughs> Maya Krull, <laughs> Cameron Lindell. Emmeline McGuire, Chesney Meeson, Elizabeth Poehler, Ben Stang, Kendra Stasny, Sophia Stone, Mara Weber, Sadie Weigel, Kendi Weigel, This concludes the PHS scholarship fund portion of the evening and congratulations to all the graduates of the class of 2023. All right, good news. We are halfway done. Yes. It takes a long time to give out $429,000, which is the grand total tonight. So huge thank you to everybody, absolutely.
It is, it is my pleasure to begin kind of the next uh, group of scholarships, the Platteville Community Scholarships. And uh, these, these are scholarships that uh, different, different businesses, families, uh, really, really anybody uh, could give to the class of 2023. And be before we get started with those, there's, there's always one very special recognition that kind of kicks off the uh, Platteville Community Scholarship part of the program, and that is the Academic Excellence Scholarship. Uh, I've had the privilege of being principal at Platteville High School for the past three years, and uh, every year's class, uh, it, there, there's something about them that really makes them unique. Uh, and there's a lot of things about this year's class that, that makes them really unique. And one of the, the defining features for me is, is their pursuit of, of excellence in all things, especially academic excellence. We, we recognize the academic excellence scholar based on a set of criteria that the state of Wisconsin provides. Uh, the first piece of that criteria are students that have a perfect 4.0 throughout their high school career. Typically, that's maybe two or three, or on a really good year, maybe seven students. This year, we have 14. Yes. I would, I would like to recognize all of them. When you hear your name, if you could just stand. Um, we'll have all 14 stand, and then I will, uh, I'll recognize the student who's gonna receive this year's Academic Excellence Scholarship. So, in alphabetical order, Alyssa Backus, Eliana Davis, Gwyneth Erickson, Megan Hall, Joyce Wong, David Lee, Cameron Nice, Brooke Von Glan, Mara Weber, Haley Wagle, Lauren Wernemont, Abigail Williams, Quinn Wright, and Miles Zhang. Big round of applause for everyone. At this time, if I could have Joyce Huang join me on stage. Joyce is this year's Academic Excellence Scholar. This award, as I mentioned, is given to the highest rank student. Uh, in this case, this year Joyce is gonna be attending, or next year Joyce is gonna be attending Northwestern, so this award will pass to the next highest ranked alternate who is attending a Wisconsin institution. For the next award, would Rael Dai join me on the stage? It is my pleasure to present the Glenn Albaugh Memorial Band Award to Rael Dai. For the next award, could Abigail Gatch join me on the stage? It's my pleasure to present the Denise and Stacy Bast Memorial Scholarship to Abigail Gatch. Could Mackenzie Champion join me on the stage? It's my pleasure to award the Dana Tiedemann Art Scholarship to Mackenzie Champion. Actually, Mackenzie, you can come right back. This worked out well. 
It is also my pleasure to award Mackenzie Champion the Emma Dimmick Olson Memorial Scholarship. For the next scholarship, would Megan Hall join me on the stage? I'm very proud to award the Engineering Foundation of Wisconsin Scholarship to Megan Hall. Would Lexi Shea please join me on the stage? It's my pleasure to recognize Lexi Shea as this year's recipient of the Tammy Cardi Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Lexi. At this time, I'll be joined by Jeff Craze and Emily Zachary. Hello, my name is Emily Zachary. I am one of the English teachers at the high school. And while I do love my job here and my role within the department, I love even more that I uh, am part of the Craze family legacy here in the Platteville School District. My mom was Danny Craze, and it is an absolute pleasure to present the Danny Craze Educational Scholarship tonight. Mom was a teacher in every sense of the word, as many of the students and probably their parents in tonight's audience witnessed firsthand. From teaching 8th, 6th, and 4th grade ELA at Platteville for over 30 years, as well as training numerous student teachers, teaching VBS, the Summer Library Program, Belmont FCA, and Sunday School, Mom was a teacher to literally thousands, including myself, my sister Carrie, who is an art teacher, and my brother Jacob, who is a retired history teacher. Oh, I like that. Thank you. <laughs> I know our family and many in this community would love to have just one more class with Mrs. Craze. From her long walks to Smith Park, to writing in nature journals, to hot chocolate waiting on her students' desks during the first snowfall, to fun adventures at Outdoor Ed, mom made every single one of her students feel valued, wanted, and loved. She had a true passion for what she did and she firmly believed in her ability to change students' lives. And change their lives she did. I still hear, almost daily, stories about my mom from my own students and from their parents. Stories of how she was their favorite teacher and how I might be a close second, especially now that Mr. Craze is no longer eligible. <laughs> so it was very exciting to see all of the uh, incredible candidates apply for this year's scholarship. To read your essays, I know that future generations of students are in really good hands. I was able to have this year's recipient in English class and FCA, and it is very clear that she is a natural educator. Outside of the classroom, it was even more apparent that she will be passionate, loving, and most of all, patient, because she was willing to babysit my three and seven-year-old when we first moved to town. So to come home and see two happy children that played and mostly didn't fight and have a clean house was really amazing, and I know your classroom will be just as amazing. Um, Zeke and Zoe wanted to come on stage and present, and I wouldn't let them, um, but they are in full support of giving this year's Danny Craig Educational Scholarship to Ms. Bresnia Coyer.
Good evening. I have the honor to represent the Lisa Steger family for the Spirit of Gymnastics Award. Lisa Steger coached the Platteville Lancaster Belmont team from 1990 to 1994. Right after, before, right before the state tournament in 1993, Lisa learned that she had cancer. She kept a positive attitude and led her team to the fourth place finish at the WIAA state competition that year. Lisa continued to coach through her treatments the following year and led the team to state in 1994 and in this time came home with the championship trophy. A week after the state tournament, Lisa learned her cancer had returned and that it was terminal. Lisa died later that year at the age of 25, taking her love of gymnastics with her. She was so moved by the sport that she, that she suggested that the memorial money be used to fund a scholarship for an area gymnast. Lisa believed that it wasn't the most talented that would um, succeed it but those who were willing to go the extra mile to improve themselves as well as encouraging their teammates. This annual award is presented to a gymnast from the Southwest Wisconsin Conference who displays leadership, sportsmanship, and the spirit of competition. The winner is chosen by the Southwest Wisconsin Conference coaches, although no coach may vote for their own gymnast. In addition to the plaque, the recipient will receive a $750 scholarship. This year's recipient of the Lisa Steger Spirit of Gymnast Award is presented to Brooke Von Glan. Good evening. The Technical Excellence Scholarship is an award provided through the state of Wisconsin as well as the Wisconsin Technical College System. To be eligible for this scholarship, the recipient must be currently enrolled and accepted into a Wisconsin Technical College in the fall of next year, and they must have also demonstrated high levels of proficiency in the career and technical education courses throughout their entire high school career. Tonight, is, it is an honor to present the Technical Excellence Scholarship in the amount up to $2,250 per year for three years to Porter Mondorano. Good evening, I'm Terry Bush of Bush Insurance Agency in Platteville. I'm here to award two $1,000 Bush Insurance Mount Morris Mutual Student Initiative Scholarships. Could I please have Lexi Rowe and Mara Weber come forward? As always, we received several exceptional applicants this year. Honestly, it's always extremely difficult to make a final decision on who to award this scholarship to, as we believe every young person who has pushed through high school has overcome some challenges and has experienced success and accomplishments he or she should be proud of. Through their essays, both Lexi and Mara demonstrated grit, determination, and vulnerability in expressing their challenges and accomplishments. They detailed how their challenges and accomplishments have shaped them as people, helped them to learn important life lessons about perseverance, and encouraged them to push to reach their future goals. Congratulations to Lexi and Mara on their accomplishments throughout high school and for continuing to face challenges and overcome them. We wish you all the best in the next steps of your journey. Congratulations to all of the young adults in the class of 2023.
Will Alyssa Backus please come forward? <laughs> Alyssa is the uh, recipient this year of the Outdoor Heritage Education Center Scholarship. The Outdoor Heritage Education Center was founded in 1998. OHEC connects people and resources through its mission of increasing the public's understanding, appreciation, and sense of stewardship for natural resources, professional resource management, and related activities like hunting and fish fishing. And I hope Alyssa will come back in the future after she spends a year pursuing an area of natural resources and inform the rest of the school that this is an excellent area to get into. So congratulations, Alyssa. Good evening, my name is Kathy Lomax and I am here representing the Platteville Area Retired Educators Association. Um, I would, Bresnia Conyer and Brooke Cools, please step forward. The Platteville Area Retired Educators Scholarship is in the amount of $1,500 and is awarded to students, high school seniors, who are pursuing a degree in education and who have received a letter of acceptance from a Wisconsin or Minnesota four-year institution. Bresnia and Brooke are our recipients this evening and Bresnia stated in her application, the reason I am seeking a degree in education is because I want to make a difference in the lives of many students. I would like to go abroad to be a missionary. She plans to attend UW Platteville. Brooke, in, on her application, stated, for me specifically, this degree represents the future. I know being an educator can and will affect the people around me. She plans to attend UW-Whitewater. Congratulations, Bresnia and Brooke from the Platteville Area Retired Educators. We wish you the best. We need educators, and we know you will be excellent in this uh, role. Thank you. We are here to present this year's Taylor White Memorial Scholarship. Um, with me are Taylor's parents, Russ and Michelle White, and then Taylor and I's son, Bronson White. Um, can we please have Kendra Stastny and... Oh. <laughs> White <Remember>? hair. <laughs> oh. All right. Now you go give them time. Before we give them to them, we just wanted to let everyone, let everyone know that these scholarships are completely community funded by a fundraiser that we do every summer. So really thank you to all of you and to all our community members for helping us be able to do this each year in Taylor's memory. We really appreciate it. Thank you. 
Hi, good evening. I am Brittany Kowalski, and tonight I'm here from Clarebank to present three scholarships. If I could have Derek Digman and Emma Nee Collins and McKenna McNeil come on up. So the first one I have is the Ralph and Ruth Balliette Scholarship. Um, Ralph was the Platteville School Superintendent and also served on the Board of Directors for Clare Bank. His wife, Ruth, was an English teacher at the district. Um, for many years, we've been able to present this scholarship on their behalf, and tonight I'd like to give it to Derek. Um, the other two are $500 Clare Bank scholarships, um, Emma and McKenna. Um, Claire Bank has just been happy to help support high school seniors in furthering their education. So. Good evening. I'm Kathy Kopp, and I am currently the president of Platteville Kiwanis. And we have four scholarships that we would like to distribute tonight. So if I can ask Jenna Shea, Alyssa Lindell, Nicholas Burkhardt, and Reese Richards to please join me. Platteville Kiwanis is a global organization of volunteers dedicated to improving the world one child and one community at a time. So we are exceptionally proud of all of you. There you go. Um, so Jenna, the scholarships are for $1,000. And before I leave, I have the honor of doing one more scholarship. Um, I'm a proud Hillman graduate of the very first class of this building, 1969. And for quite a long time now, we have been giving out a scholarship for community service. And this year, we decided we were going to give two. So if I could have Haley Waggle and Sadie Waggle, so Waggle Night, our class puts a lot of emphasis on community service, and I know that many of you out here do an exceptional job with that, so congratulations and keep it up. But Sadie and Haley, I will add that the legacy carries on because both of these two ladies are also grandchildren of graduates from 1969. Hi there, would Paige Kirkenbush please join me? I'm a member of the Platteville Quota Club, and the Platteville Quota Club, if you uh, watch in December, is the club that insists on selling cookies, Christmas cookies or holiday cookies every December. And the money we raise then, we give, uh, we're a service club. So it's my honor to give this $1,000 scholarship to Paige. Community First Bank is proud to present scholarships to local high schools in its 10 markets. This year, we are excited to announce 
the recipients of two $500 scholarships for the class of 2023 are Derek Digman and M Emma Rooney. <clears throat> Good evening, my name is Jen Opgenor, this is my husband Kurt, and along with my brother Jerry Cullen and his wife Stephanie Cullen, the parents of Abby Cullen, they are, they are here in the audience tonight. Um, we will be presenting the Abby Cullen Memorial Scholarships in the form of two $1,000 scholarships. The two students that have been chosen for these scholarships are Lexi Shea and Haley Wagle. If you would come forward, please. Abby Cullen was a student in Mrs. LeConte's preschool classroom in the fall of 2009. Abby was full of spunk and life. She loved bugs and dinosaurs, but she also loved all things girly. Abby could often be found carrying a dinosaur or a matchbox car in her hand. Abby's life was precious. Abby became ill one evening in late December, shortly after she turned five. What her parents initially thought were symptoms similar to the flu ended up being a condition called myocarditis. Abby passed away on December 20th, 2009, due to complications from myocarditis. Her immediate family, extended family, classmates, teachers, and the community grieved the loss of this sweet little girl. Myocarditis is the inflammation of the heart muscle. Infection with a virus is one cause of myocarditis. Some people with early myocarditis don't show symptoms, or the symptoms can sometimes mimic flu-like symptoms as they did in Abby. Abby's parents, Jerry and Stephanie, are dedicated to supporting extensive research of this health issue. So here we are, 14 years later. This year, the graduating class of 2023 would have been Abby's graduating class. In order to honor her life and the memories of her that her family holds dear, we have decided to present two scholarships in Abby's memory. The eligibility criteria for these scholarships were that the recipients would be pursuing a degree in the medical field. We are honored to present these recipients, Abby's classmates, with these scholarships. Congratulations, Lexi and Haley. Hello, my name is Tristan Hirsch. And my name is Kelsey Clare. And tonight we're here representing Driftmore Music and Arts Festival. We are proud to present the third annual Driftmore Arts and Innovation Scholarship to Gwyneth Erickson, if she could now join us on the stage. Her love for art and passion for sharing her craft with the community makes her a tremendous candidate for this year's scholarship. Congratulations, Gwyneth. This scholarship is in honor of my best friend, Randy Grimes. It's the Randy D. Grimes Memorial Scholarship. Randy Grimes was a successful Platteville business owner for over 30 years. He frequently said he never worked a day in his life because he loved what he did. We proudly present these scholarships in his name to recipients who we believe embody the qualities that reflect what Randy believed. 
were vital to a successful future leaders. Education, confidence, sacrifice, and service. Would Jenna Brogley and Gabriela Cajo please join us on stage to receive these awards? Gabby actually come back up to the stage. It's my pleasure to recognize Gabriela Caggio as this year's recipient of the Halo Scholarship Class of 1967. Would Noah Felder join me on the stage? Thanks, Noah. It's my pleasure to recognize Noah Felder as this year's recipient of the R. Pearl, Harriet E. and Mary Alice Hendershot Scholarship. Would Fernando Ramos and Bresnia Coyer join me on the stage? It is my pleasure to recognize Bresnia K. Coyer and Fernando Ramos as this year's recipients of the William Hoffman Memorial Scholarship. Could I be joined on the stage by Quinn Wright? Mara Weber. Sophia Stone. And Jenna Shea. These students are the recipients of the Thomas B. Jones Scholarship. Would Lexi Rowe join me on the stage? My pleasure to recognize Lexi Rowe as this year's recipient of the Melby Funeral Home Scholarship. Would Haley Wagel join me on the stage?
Haley is the recipient of this year's Mercy One Medical Center 2023 Nursing Education Scholarship. I'd like to read this letter on behalf of the Mercy Nursing Scholarship Committee. Congratulations to the Platteville High School class of 2023. It is my pleasure to represent Mercy One Dubuque Medical Center in the presentation of this year's Mercy One Dubuque Medical Center High School Nursing Scholarship. Scholarship recipients are chosen based on class rank, ACT, and GPAs, letters of recommendation, a personal essay, and volunteer activities. In addition, they must be accepted into college with a plan to study nursing. Mercy One Dubuque became the 134th Magnet Hospital in, 20, in 2004, it was redesignated in 2009, 2014, and 2019. Magnet hospitals, hospitals have attained the highest standards of nursing excellence, resulting in the very best patient outcomes. Consistent with our Magnet philosophy, Mercy One is committed to recruiting excellent candidates into the nursing profession, and we are proud to sponsor five high school scholarships each year to students interested in pursuing a successful career in nursing. I am pleased to award one of the 2023 Mercy Nursing Scholarships to Platteville High School student, Haley Waggle. My name is Elizabeth Gates. I'm here to present the scholarships on behalf of Music Boosters. And could Rayelle Dye please join me on stage? <laughs> Rayelle is the recipient of the Thomas Ferry Memorial Scholarship. And next I have five recipients that I would like to have join me on the stage, and they are Dylan Pink, Lexi Shea, Noah Felder, Mara Weber, and Tate Zulke. <laughs> and these students are all the recipients of the Platteville Music Boosters Scholarship. Congratulations. And would Eliana Davis join me on stage, please? And Eliana is the recipient of the William and Mary Turner Scholarship. Mara Weber, come on down again. The Dr. Johansson Patriotic Scholarship is designed to be given to a student who intends to major in ROTC, police science, or criminal justice. Mara plans to major in criminal justice. The criteria also requires that the recipient be in the top half of his or her class academically. Mara is ranked fresh in her class, so I am pleased and proud to present the four-year $20,000 Dr. Johansson Patriotic Scholarship to Mara Weber. Congratulations, Mara. Thank you. 
Take your picture, buddy. <laughs> Can you take it? Anybody take your picture? Okay, get out here. On behalf of the Plateau American Legion Auxiliary, I would like to invite Haley Waggle to come up to the stage. She will be receiving a $500 scholarship toward her post-secondary education, and I know she'll do very well. Would Kennedy Weigel, Porter Mandarano, and Lexi Rowe please join me on stage? This is my privilege to present to these very worthwhile students the Leo M. Kane Post 42 American Legion Scholarships in the amount of $1,000 each. Good evening, my name is Cheryl Lang. I'd like to welcome Abigail Gatch to join me on stage. I'm presenting the Richard Lang Ag Related Scholarship. My father, Richard Lang, graduated from Platteville High School in 1972. He was a farmer his whole life. He loved farming and he was always supportive of young people who were interested in farming or who were going into ag-related careers. Our family created this scholarship in his memory to honor his love of agriculture and to support a Platteville High School student as she continues her education. Congratulations. Good evening, I'm Lee Jarrett representing Mississippi Valley Lodge, number 86 of the Odd Fellows, and uh, Haley Weigel is our recipient tonight, our scholarship. <laughs> the last Weigel I shook hands with 51 years ago, Stan, kind of tore me up, but uh, you deserve this. <laughs> Would Rebecca Lindell join me on stage? I'm presenting the PEO Chapter AC Scholarship to Rebecca. PEO is a women's philanthropic organization here in Platteville, and there are three chapters, and this is Chapter AC.
Hello, could I have Allison Bird and Emma McGuire come up? I also represent uh, PEO Chapter CT here in Platteville. We're an organization that awards scholarships, educational scholarships to students pursuing higher education. Are you on? Yeah. Allison. Congratulations. Thank you. Hello, my name is Tiffany Flogel. I'm the treasurer of the Platteville JCs. Can I please get Haley Wagle, Kennedy Wagle, and Emma Rooney? Uh, the JCs is a voluntary run program made up of members from the community. Uh, the money we raise for these scholarships is from events such as Dairy Days, the 4th of July, uh, things like that. And so without the help from all of you guys, we wouldn't be able to provide these scholarships to these girls. So we have Kennedy, <laughs> Haley, and Emma. Congratulations to you, Tracy, and I hope you have a wonderful future. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Haley, we're going to need you to come on back up here, please. Good evening, my name is Julie Durst and I'm a member of the Platteville Elks Lodge number 1460 here in Platteville and I'd like to present a scholarship to Haley. Uh, Haley, uh, we're very pleased to have you uh, win this scholarship from us. Our organization is a benevolent non-profit non community service organization. Uh, we have programs that support the veterans and youth, drug awareness, and Americanism. Um, our scholarship is for students who are pursuing a degree at a university or technical college and is based on merit, achievement, community service, and involvement. So I'm very happy to award this scholarship to you, Haley. We're going to make her stay up here for a few more minutes. All right. We're getting down there. Would Allison Bird please join me on the stage? It's my pleasure to recognize Allison Bird as this year's recipient of the Platteville Medical Associates Scholarship. Would Elizabeth Poehler join me on the stage? Lizzie is this year's recipient of the Joseph L. Rundy Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Could I have Sadie Waggle join me on the stage? It's my pleasure to recognize Sadie Wagle as this year's recipient of the Saputo Cheese USA Incorporated Scholarship. <laughs> Would 
Would Maya Cruel join me on the stage? I'm honored to recognize Maya Cruel as this year's recipient of the R. Albert Shepard Scholarship. We have four recipients this year from the Scenic Rivers Energy Scholarship. The first one, please join me on the stage, Jesse Vesperman. Also, Nick Burkhart. Also, Jenna Brogley. And Brooke Von Glan. Again, um, tonight I'm here representing Southwest Tech, where I'm employed as an ag instructor. The Southwest Wisconsin Technical College Foundation awarded out more than $530,000 for its current 2022-23 year, and is in the process of awarding out close to that again for this coming year. I'm very excited to present eight scholarships tonight, totaling $5,250 to Platteville High School seniors. The first scholarship is the Betty J. Waslake Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $500, and the recipient of that is Haley Waggle. Please come forward. If you just want to stay, we'll do a picture at the end. Congratulations. Next is the Lynn's Family Endowment Scholarship in the amount of $2,000. Exciting news for this long-standing scholarship for this upcoming year. The donors have decided to increase the scholarship amount at each of the 30 districts, high schools um, in our area from $1,500 to $2,000. Um, that is a total of over $60,000 each year. Since this, since this scholarship began in the late 1990s, more than $700,000 has been awarded. And this year, Platteville's recipient of the Lenz Family Endowment Scholarship is Allison Bird. Next is the Midwest One Bank Scholarship in the amount of $500, and that recipient is Wesley Camps. Next is a Rundle Nursing Scholarship in the amount of $250, and that recipient is Emmeline McGuire. Next is the Ryan and Tracy Waggle Southwest Tech Agriculture Scholarship in the amount of $500, and the recipient of that is Wesley Camps. That might mean I have him as a student next year. He doesn't know what he's in for. <laughs> Last is the Southwest Tech Scholarship for the Platteville community in the amount of $500 each. And there are three of those. The recipients are Peyton Mallier, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, I think I just did. Dylan Pink and Fernando Ramos. Ramos. You are Dylan. You are. Oh no. How do you say your last name? Mallier. Mallier. 
very good. Sorry, I screwed that up. I am now representing the Platteville FFA alumni, and we present um, scholarships to many of our graduating seniors each year. This year, um, the scholarship committee of the alumni board has selected three individuals, each to receive $500 scholarships. Would the following three individuals come forward? Haley Waggle, Abigail Gatch, and Alyssa Feiskirke. Hello, my name is Nancy Waggle, and I'm here to present the Platteville Thrift Shop Scholarship. So will Allie Lindell please come forward? <laughs> and Porter, and I was told to call him Big Bob. <laughs> is he here? There he is. <laughs> Would Megan Hall please join me on stage? All right, my name is Brandon Pink, and uh, amongst other roles here at Platteville High School, I coach the uh, Platteville Lancaster girls soccer team, and I'm here to present that scholarship today. Uh, the mission that we've set ourselves for the Platteville soccer team is to become the best people we can be through the game of soccer. And uh, I think Megan is a perfect example of that mission. Uh, she is phenomenal every day in practice um, with her peers, uh, but also the work that she does amongst the Platteville soccer community at large is just, um, it's incredible. And it's really, uh, we're gonna miss you, Megan, uh, so, so much as you graduate and move on to bigger and better things. So Megan, for being a perfect example of what it means to be a student athlete and a member of the soccer community, um, I present you with the Platteville Lancaster Soccer Scholarship. Congratulations, it's well earned. Good evening. My name is Carrie Steinhardt, and I am very blessed to be the kindergarten teacher at St. Rose School in Cuba City. Mrs. Oglesby and I are presenting the St. Rose Alumni Scholarship. Students were asked to write an essay about how their Catholic faith has impacted the person they are today. We appreciate all the applicants. It was a hard choice as they were all very good. Tonight, we would like to honor and congratulate Dylan Pink with the St. Rose Alumni Scholarship. Thank you, and God bless to all the graduates. Hi, I'm Sarah Pink, and I am here presenting the Tri-County 
HR Association Scholarship to Gwyneth Erickson. Would Ashton Thompson please come to the stage? I am Ann Vanduil of Cuba City, the daughter of Neil and Ruth Wilkins. My father graduated from Platteville High School from the Platteville Mining School in Engineering and eventually became a local farmer. He was an active school board member uh, in the late 1960s and 1970s. My parents appreciated the accomplishments of students like all of you and the hard work of the faculty, administration, and staff. It gives me great pleasure to present the Neil and Ruth Wilkins Scholarship for the 43rd year in the amount of $1,000 to Ashton Thompson. Congratulations, Ashton. I'm here on behalf of the Wisconsin Holstein Foundation to present Kennedy Weigel as the recipient of the $1,000 Marlo Nelson Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in memory of Marlo, whose passion was to teach and mentor young, enthusiastic dairy breeders to become more involved with the registered Holstein business. Throughout his lifetime, Marlo paved the way in many aspects of the registered Holstein breed and its impact in the United States, Japan, Germany, and Holland. The Holstein, Wisconsin Holstein Foundation is honored to present this scholarship to Kennedy, whose charismatic and uh, attitude uh, would uh, definitely honor Marlo very well. Good evening and congratulations, class of 2023. My name is Mike Hoosier, and I'm honored to be here this evening on behalf of the University of Wisconsin Platteville to award the following scholarships. We have a number, so uh, when, when we bring you up, if you could stay up on stage and we'll get a picture at the end, that would be great. The first award tonight is the Wonder, Wonderland Family Scholarship, and it is awarded to any student who is, grad, who is a graduating senior at Platteville High School and is in the upper quarter of their class. Preference given to students declaring a major in the School of Engineering. Congratulations to Kaysen Udelhoven, Emma Rooney, and Nicholas Burkhardt. Our next award is the Mike and Jackie David Scholarship. This award rotates annually between three Southwest Wisconsin high schools, Cuba City, Platteville, and Iowa Grant, or any future high school serving these areas, and this rotation will continue as long as funds exist. The recipient will be chosen by a committee within the local high school and is based on what the committee defines as a successful student. Congratulations this year to McKenna McNeil and Alyssa Lindell. Congratulations. Our next student is receiving two awards. The Busby Family Entrepreneurial Scholarship for Platteville High School is awarded to any student as a graduate of Platteville High School interested in entrepreneurship. The Wisconsin Rural Opportunity Scholarship is awarded to any student who is enrolled in the College of Bilsa School of Agriculture and major, major and a Wisconsin farm resident. Congratulations to Abigail Getch.
The BMDS Platteville High School scholarship motto is live your life serving others and the rewards you receive will be beyond any of your wildest expectations. Congratulations to the following students. Elena Barth, Alyssa Lindell, Emma Rooney, and Matthew Stangel McDermott. The Midwest One Bank Community Scholarship is awarded to one student who will be pursuing a career in business or accounting. Congratulations to Matthew Stangel McDermott. Our next student is receiving two awards. The David Ward Agriculture Scholarship is for a new freshman who will graduate from one of the following schools. Fort Atkinson High School, Lakeside Lutheran High School, Fenimore High School or Platteville High School and will be majoring in the School of Agriculture. The Sloan Implement Scholarship recipient must be a declared major within the College of Bilsa, must have a GPA of 3.0 or higher and demonstrate community involvement. Preference, will be given, preference is given to applicants with agricultural backgrounds who are from the following counties in Wisconsin, Grant, Green, Dane, Iowa, and Lafayette. And if anybody can recite that from verbatim, have at it. Congratulations to Jenna Brogley. Platteville High School Community Scholarship is a cooperative effort between, between the UW Platteville Foundation and Midwest High Schools and are based off of their admission application. Congratulations to the following two students, Ellie Temperley and Andrew Barry. The Academic Merit Scholarship is automatically considered for all incoming first year students and is based on the student's cumulative high school GPA. Congratulations to the following students. Abigail Gatch, Ashton Thompson, Bresnia K. Coyer, Jenna Shea, Kaysen Udelhoven, Matthew Stangle McDermott, Nicholas Burkhard, and Emma Rooney. Congratulations. Platteville Collision Center for Platteville High School Scholarship is awarded to any student who is a graduating senior at Platteville High School with a GPA between 2.5 and 3.25. Congratulations to McKenna McNeil. The Sloan, I don't know if I mentioned this one or not, and I apologize if I did, but we still have it here. Jenna? Yeah. Je Jenna Brogley is the recipient of the Sloan Implement Scholarship, and that recipi recipient must be a declared major within the School of Bilsa. I think we went through that criteria once, but Jenna, congratulations. <laughs> once again, congratulations to, uh, to all the seniors, and best of luck in your future endeavors, and enjoy the last few days of high school.
Look at that. It's coming together. Go future pioneers. This is it. I did the math, about $130,000 an hour. So it's, that's not bad when you think about it that way. All right, would Bianca Paler, Paler, sorry. Would Bianca please join me on the stage? Bianca is this year's recipient of the Christopher Splinter Memorial Scholarship. Congratulations, Bianca. Would Abby Williams please join me on the stage? Abby is this year's recipient of the Stanton Scholarship. Congratulations, Abby. Would Megan Hall please join me on the stage? It is my honor to award Megan Hall as the recipient of the 2023 Wisconsin Association of School Business Officials Foundation and Nexus Solutions. There we go. There's a lot there. <laughs> Would Haley Wago please join me on the stage? Haley is this year's recipient of the Charles W. Young and William R. Young Scholarship. Congratulations, Haley. Would Nicholas Burkhart please join me on the stage? It's my honor to recognize Nicholas as this year's recipient of the Delta III Engineering Scholarship. Would Grace Stamba and Emma Nee Collins please join me on the stage? Grace and Emma are this year's recipients of the Platteville Optimist Club Scholarships. Congratulations, Grace and Emma. This is it. The last two scholarships of the evening, could I have Sadie Waggle and Peyton Malliott please join me on the stage? These scholars, these scholarships are awarded on behalf of Full Throttle Events. Congratulations, Peyton and Sadie. So 
again wanted to thank everybody. A couple of housekeeping things here. Uh, students, under your chairs or in front of you are literally thousands of dollars. Please make sure that you pick those up, you take those with you, you keep track of those. You do not lose them or leave them here in the auditorium. Very, very important that you take those with you. A couple of other things that are really important with, with the scholarship process. It doesn't end tonight. Tonight was the celebration of a lot of work of a lot of people that are part of the different scholarship committees and selection groups, uh, businesses, donors, uh, the, the ones that, that really, I guess, kind of tug at my heart, the, the legacy donors. You, you heard wonderful stories uh, about how legacies are living on in these scholarships. Uh, my, my challenge, students, is that they would live on in you, that, that this, this money that's being gifted to you is something that, that you would think about that, that investment, that investment in your future uh, and, and that investment in, in others down the road. So as you go home tonight, uh, please make sure you don't lose any of these papers. Many of the scholarship comes with, with envelopes. Some of the envelopes have checks. Some of the envelopes have directions uh, on how to apply for or, or claim these scholarships. So please make sure you hang on to those. The, the last piece to kind of complete the, the scholarship cycle is a simple one, but a very, very important one, and that is a thank you. Uh, parents, I, I know many parents are here with us tonight. It, it is essential that, that we complete this, this cycle um, with a thank you to the donors, to the people that you saw up here tonight uh, that gave up three hours uh, on, on a Monday to, to just share the commitment that this community has to, to the class of 2023. So please make sure that, that you take a look at those envelopes, you figure out who to write the thank you to, you write the thank you and you send the thank you. That, that is such an important part. Um, and speaking of thank yous, I need to thank a few more people. We acknowledged a few people at the beginning of the night. Uh, I hope she's still back there. Sumu Sara, if you are, would you please come out here? We need to say a big thank you to Sumu Sara. Thank you, Sue. This, this night really isn't possible without all of the behind the scenes work that, that Sue does on behalf of the, the different scholarship groups and committees. In addition to the, the whole student services team uh, behind the scenes, Mrs. McCarthy and Mrs. Melby working extremely hard to make this night happen and support our students. So again, a huge thank you to them. Uh, also want to thank a couple of other people in the audience here that, that really make tonight happen. Mr. Foley, if you give him a big round of applause. The assistant principal and activities director, every, every year he's got to move like three events so that we can have scholarship night without worrying about uh, all of the other wonderful things that are happening normally on a Monday night. So thank you to Mr. Foley for making that happen. Uh, back in the booth we have Colin Bradley running the sound, running the live stream. Thank you so much to him for making things happen tonight. Let's give him a round of applause. And then uh, behind the camera, you saw the flash there, you'll see all the pictures later on. Thank you so much to Jordan Belkin for her work in, in making tonight happen. Big round of applause for her. And it's, it's also listed on the program there, but Morsi Printing has been a huge partner in printing our programs, actually printing them twice. Uh, so. <laughs> That's, that was our fault, not their fault. Um, but uh, really appreciate them able to, to rush these through and, and did such a nice job supporting us and supporting uh, all the students that, that received awards tonight. So that's it. Make sure you take everything home under your chairs. Don't lose those envelopes. Thank you, everybody.